Welcome back to a new video. Today's video is on Only Murders in the Building, Season 4, Episode 2, entitled Gates of Heaven. With the official synopsis being, Mabel and Oliver begin investigating Arconia's West Tower and get trapped inside an ominous game. Meanwhile, Charles is visited by two individuals from his complex past. And before I give out my review, please like and subscribe and comment. All of my socials are down in the description for more reviews, so give it a follow or not. Thank you. Episode 2 continues to make season 4 such an interesting watch when it comes to new information being revealed, shocking returns, more suspicious information, just crazy bizarre facts about Saz and all that transpired. Like season 4 continues to be a crazy ride and only who knows what's going to happen next so here we go as the episode is mostly an arconian based episode focusing on the arconia and the west tower no mentions or no footage from hollywood seen in here as the episode begins where episode one ended off with charles just being left in a traumatic distraught state after finding saz and her remains after what happened and there was this theory about Saz likely faking her death and still being alive but i just don't believe that like why would she hire an assassin to shoot at her and then just fake this entire investigation i don't see anybody doing that but charles throughout the entire episode is just all traumatized and just distraught and I just feel bad for this man, honestly, because all throughout the past seasons, he has gone through a traumatic mess from the numerous murder attempts, dating murderers, his failed relationships, and now somebody, a hitman assassin now coming after him. I can understand if his mental state is deteriorating to the bottom of the barrels after all that has happened but it's just sad like losing a close friend after 40 years of working with them having a close relationship with them is definitely heartbreaking in my opinion in the meanwhile in between time though oliver and mabel decide to check out the west tower as i think this is the first time the west tower is fully seen in here as well with some of its weird and interesting residents stink eyed joe stink eyed joe was interesting but i found him a little bit suspicious he talks about his eye issues how he always has to stink eyed but what if the reason he has the stink eye is because he's dealing with an eye injury? Like, what if he was the one that shot at Saz, but he was such a terrible shooter that he now has an eye injury because of that? I know it's unlikely, but with this show, anything is possible. The Sauce family. The Sauce family, though, I don't think they're bad people. But I also did find things a little bit interesting with them, such as the ham in the bathroom. That made me think about that fact that Saz mentioned in the last season about how there was a ham radio speaking negatively about Charles. And I'm just now wondering, is this the ham radio that she was talking about or is this or that's just a whole nother easter egg that we just don't know of as of yet a christmas guy the christmas guy that celebrates christmas all season i found it interesting that he was the only one to not have like a proper introduction that oliver and mabel meet him but that just leaves me wondering if he is going to have like a bigger presence in later episodes that we just don't know of as of yet and the fact that a Tenzo, a Christmas Tenzo or whatever was found at Dudunov's apartment, that just leaves me just a little bit suspicious about his character overall. Who knows? The episode title is based off a 1978 documentary as its main themes and 
talks about pet cemetery morality and also the afterlife as jane lich's character of sass is seen in here and i think that was a part of its themes about the afterlife the pet cemetery regarding the pig and dudunov's apartment and as well as just those things and i did like how sass was seen in here in this episode when it came to her segments with talking to charles about what she knows their past moments working together on a set of brazos and just many things like charles realizing that he was the intended target of this assassin and that Saz sadly caught the crossfire was caught in a crossfire because of him and the message of tap in i've seen some people on reddit have different theories about that being that charles it's now your turn to take action or how she took one last blow for him one last dangerous stunt for him that he now has to do or whatever it's just it's just a lot like this episode just had me thinking about a lot of past series from past seasons um it was a lot um jan making a return was interesting to see it was just a huge what the f is going on like it was nice to see jan and her finding out that Saz was gone and just her just reminiscing about past moments also and a part of me thinks that might be the only time we see jan now that she is an escaped murderer i don't see her coming back to the arconia after the stuff that she caused in season one and with their hidden passageways making a comeback in this episode two was just a nice reference to it from season two detective donna also making a comeback was nice to see like i've always enjoyed her character when it comes to the past murders the past investigations and i'm just wondering how much is she going to help in this season or will she be a helping hand at all this time with how secretive everybody's being but as the arconia i think the west tower definitely does have its own secrets and skeletons in its closet such as how it was shut away from the real arconia because of a brothel being opened up i wouldn't be surprised if there was hidden passageways between the west tower and the arconia that connects them together likely making the killer having more hidden ways to enter both of the apartments without being seen by anyone um yeah and i think the theory of saz likely being dudunov does make a lot of sense like she rented the apartment to investigates all of the past incidents from previous seasons that were open-ended or left unresolved and also trying to find out more about who could be coming after charles and why are they coming after charles although the apartment did look a little old did look a little beat down the pig in here though too i think that either has to be something with the title gates of heaven with pet cemeteries or just yeah that is a little bit that is a little bit crazy though like why was there a pig at the apartment was it because of the sauce family or just residents at the west tower about to do something bad to the pig to make some bacon or whatever like a lot of theories a lot of crazy information this, this episode just ends with charles and the, and the gang just figuring out more about what sass was saying the message tap in and its possible meanings and just leaves me wondering about what the next episodes could have in store and as previously mentioned i think episode two does a good job with all that is given when it comes to the west tower some of its newer residents and as well as just the moments with saz and charles some of the suspects that i now have in here are stink eyed joe 
I think he's likely lying about his eye, pink eye, and is likely dealing with an eye injury. Maybe because he was shooting at someone and he is a terrible shooter. Um, Christmas guy. We didn't get a proper introduction with him. And the fact that a Tenzel was found at Dudunov's apartment, that just makes me think like, is he Dudunov? Does he know more about Dudunov? Like, what does he know? And will we see him in this season? Um, I know I said Scapacula, Joy. I think there's a chance they might know more information about the possible hit on Charles or whatever. Maybe Saz was speaking to them before she died suddenly. Um, yeah, episode three's title is Two for the Road. I can't wait to see what that means in the episode, what themes that it has. But yeah, that is all that I have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Until next week.